Hello everyone, so welcome back to Power BI. Today I'm going to show you a very simple trick on creating and using slices in Power BI. So before I dive into it, so let's have a look at some sample, okay? So for example, you have a retail analytics or probably a segment analytics reports that you can also understand about the profitabilities of the companies, the profits of the companies, the sales and everything else that you are interested in. But you also want to understand your company's performance based on each countries. Okay, for example, you operate in multiple locations across the globe. So you can actually use slices to to, to actually find out what is happening in each country and also want to understand between a different segments across the countries. And also you can also understand based on the products, uh, which uh, you may think, okay, some product is not profitable, some pro product is very profitable. So then you can uh, create the business strategy that fits with different location, different segment and different products. Okay. And we can also cross filterings. Okay, for example, I just want to select Germany's. So you see that Germany profitability is 15%. Uh, and probably I want to go a little bit deeper to understand, okay, uh, how does the, the segments, governments work in these countries? Okay, okay. Uh, about the mid markets. Okay. And probably I want to understand about certain products in this country, for example, this one. Okay. So uh, this is how amazing Slicer is. So we know how it does, then let's create it. So how to create it is very simple. So what do you do? Okay, let me open the new one, okay. So here it is in the visualization panel, you can see the slices, okay. So when you click on it and you can just go and find, for example, uh, you want to uh, slice uh, the country, so you just pick the countries and then you can get it very simple. Okay, very simple. But but in this case, when you use it, you will see that you can only use the, okay, you cannot use it like one by one. And if you select another one, it deselects the previous one. So this is the default uh, in the slices. Okay, so let me, let me give you another few uh, examples. Okay. So we create another slicer, okay. Uh, we want to understand about the products. So <laughs> we can go and filters, uh, we can go and slices by products, okay. And we can go and slices by the segments, okay. So it's depend on, on what you're interested in, okay. And if you want by year, you can also do it, okay either this way or another way around, okay. So, okay, this is another types of slices, okay. Another one, let go with the, okay, products, the segments, okay, we miss another one, which is the segment, okay. So let me text, okay, segment, so here we go. So. Uh, the same things by default, you can select one and then if you select another, you're gonna deselect the previous one. So probably you want a better alternative in using slicer, for example. Okay, you may interested in selecting few products at the same times. Okay, or probably other way around. So to do so is very simple. You can just go to, okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. Sorry about that, okay. <clears throat> uh, you, can, you can actually go to the uh, format panes and then you go to slicer controls, okay. You off the multi selects and you uh, enable these select all options. So you can get this guys. Okay. Have a look at this. You can select one by one or you can select multiple segments at the same times. Or you can even select all. So this is very uh, amazing, you know. Okay, so the better way to use Slicer, I would definitely recommend you to do this. So let me do it again for you, okay? To do it, click on one of the slicers that you want to, to, to customize. 
go to the format pane, go to selection controls, and then you disable multi-selects, and then you enable select all options. So here we go. We got this guy, okay? You can select one by one, or you can select multiple products, multiple segments at the same times, okay? So, and this is it. And if you want to change the color, change the font, you can go here, okay? In general option, you can change the colors to blacks, or probably you want green, so it's become greens, okay? So here it is for the outline, okay? Uh, the selection controls, we already made it. For selection headers, probably you want it in red, okay, who knows? And probably background, you want it wise and you want to make the size a little bit bigger. So here it is, okay, probably 16 is better. Mm -hmm. And also maybe the item you want it a bit bigger than black, so let's make it black. Uh, make it probably 14 okay so you can do it in this way and just resize it to make it look a little bit better okay so here it is and just in case that you don't want to repeat the same process and you want to apply the same format to other uh, slides so you can do it in the same by using format painters and select on the other slices okay so you can get the same looking format okay the same thing you can apply for the first one for the countries. Okay. So very simple guys. This is how it how it is. Okay. Okay, so the other one which is uh, aside from uh, the selections, which is uh, something related to dates, to years, to, to numbers. Okay, so you can select the range. Okay, for example, from this year to this year. Okay. But if you want in the same looking uh, as, as other slicer, you can go to these options and you can use the list. Okay, so when you click on the list, you will see the list of the years from 2016 and then 2020s. Okay. You can also use the format painters. Okay, here it is. So very simple. But it's depend on the visualization, it's depend on your interest, whether you want to see it as a list or you want to see it as a betweens, okay, which means that you can select between which years to which years, okay. Or okay, other ways around. So you can play around with these options which are available for you. So it's depend on what you're looking for. So I think that's it, guys. This is how we, we can create the slices and the best way of using slices. So if you have any more question related to it, please feel free to comment in the, the, the box below or chat me in through my channels or maybe my uh, private social media accounts. Okay. And don't forget, hit subscribe and the bell icons to get more notifications when I make the new uploads. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.